Are you a lonely gamer living in a mom's basement? Do you want to find a perfect partner but nobody loves you? I wouldn't date you either. Well, lucky you, there's a solution for you. We call it Hooked on You, the official Dead by Daylight dating simulator. We will make sure that you will find the love of your life. You can date the trapper, the wraith, the spirit, or even the huntress. The choice is yours. Pre-register now for an exclusive benefit of being able to masturbate together with the trapper. <sighs> Hooked on you. Coming soon. Okay, it took me like forever to make this intro, so if you smiled at least once, then make sure to subscribe and like this video, I would appreciate it very much. But if you don't subscribe, then your father will chop your dick off within the next 3 seconds. I'm not gonna lie, that sounds kinda scary, so I hope you are subscribed. But anyway, let's talk about this new upcoming Dead by Daylight game called uh, Hooked on You which I don't know what the fuck it is, but uh, I mean, I kinda know what it is. I mean, nobody could have expected that Dead by Daylight would ever announce a dating simulator, because Dead by Daylight by itself is technically a horror game. It is supposed to be a scary game, but it turns out that we are going to get a Dead by Daylight dating simulator game, which is kind of funny in a way. So initially, when I saw this trailer for the first time, I expected this game to be like a Tinder in a way. I expected you to be able to choose your favorite character in the game and then date other real people who are behind in-game avatars. For example, you choose to be the brave and then you date someone who is the huntress and then you become real partners for life. That would be so cool. That is such a genius idea and in a way it's very useful because most gamers are very lonely because they don't have time for relationships. They play games 24-7. But guess what? Of course I was wrong. This is not a dating app. This is a dating simulator, which indicates that this is going to be a game. You will not be able to, you will probably not be able to find real partners by playing hooked on you. It's a shame, but it is what it is. So at the moment, we don't have much information about this upcoming game, but we still have some information. So let me read some of it. Welcome to Murderer's Island. Your companions for dead sexy killers who underneath their murderous exteriors just want a little romance, flirt your way into their hearts, uncovering dark twists along the way. Will you find true love, forge friendships or get hacked to death? Only you can decide. I'm sorry for my fucking Russian accent, I'm trying to speak different but I can't. This is my natural accent, so if you have anything against it, I'm gonna kill your father. But long story short, at least on the release date, this game will have 4 killers, only 4. It will not have more than that, which is a shame, I would like to see other original killers in the game, but it is what it is. We have the Trapper, the Huntress, the Wraith and the Spirit. I actually think that they should have added the Nurse too, but you know, it is what it is. I can't complain about it too much because the existence of this game, just existence of it makes me happy. But basically the whole game is set on this mysterious island and you will be able to romance and date each one of those killers and by doing this you will learn cool details about their past lives and you know it's gonna be like a single player story campaign which is cool because right now I think that Dead by Daylight has a very cool lore. The whole story around the game is insanely good but most of the people they don't have enough of patience to just go through archives and try to figure out out what happened or what is the past of this or that killer and I think that Dead by Daylight would benefit from a TV show like League of Legends has Arcane. I always thought that Dead by Daylight needs to do something like that, but maybe Dead by Daylight developers decided, no, we will not create a movie or TV series about this game. Instead, we will make 
other games that will help Dead by Daylight players to uncover more lore details surrounding this amazing game. You know what I mean? I don't know much about this game. To me, it sounds like it's gonna be a single player game, you know, linear game. But who knows, maybe it is actually a multiplayer game where you can actually find your real significant other. I don't know about that. We will see how it goes. Maybe it's just an early April Fool's joke, but I hope it is not because this game sounds kind of funny. I know it's not uh, a necessary game, you know, nobody asked for it, but it sounds very cool and if this is a single player story game, I think we need more of those in the future. I think Dead by Daylight developers are finally doing something, something <laughs> good for Dead by Daylight. Anyway, comment what do you think. I actually, it took me a long time to make this video, so please make sure to subscribe if you haven't done it before. Like this video and see you later. Bye!